Sarah, help! Sarah, help! Oh! 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 Get away from me, you nasty little pest! I've got a surprise for you! Watch me! Watch me! Watch me! Look what she's digging up! The magic rhino badger! Lucky that I can remember where I put things. Ooh, my favorite biscuits. <laughs> There's a worm in my apple. Oh, don't be such a silly Nunu. I'm not a silly Nunu. You'd be flattered if you really knew how clever Nunus are. It's true. I'll show you. Close your eyes, press your magic rhino badges, and I'll fly you to a great monument built to house Nunu's. Well, it's actually a museum. Here we've got a whole lot of moths and butterflies. Can you see all the different sizes and colors that you can get? Yes. Do you know what the word camouflage means? It means it blends in. Yes, that's very clever. And you can see that particular moth over there looks just like the leaves. Yes. And yes. it is a very big one. And you see those moths over there? Yes. What do those circles on them look like? Eyes. Yes, those are called eye spots. And when yes. you have predators, what they does that help to them? scare them away. Yes, so if predators like a bird comes and it tries to eat the moth, what does it do? It, it, it pretends it has extra eyes. Yes, and the bird thinks that it's a big animal and then it flies away. <laughs> and moths are also quite pretty. Lots of people think they're very dull. How but can you tell the difference between a butterfly and a moth? Does anyone know the answer to that? Moths have feelers that are fluffy and butterflies don't. You also find that moths occur at night time more than during the day and the butterflies occur at daytime. got some other nunus at the museum and if you have a look over here what's that baboon spider this very big baboon spider can bite you but it won't harm you it'll just hurt a little bit now tell me what's that over there scorpion if the tail is very fat then it's poisonous it's very dangerous and if the tail is very thin and skinny then it's not so poisonous and you can also see the size of their pincers. You see that big one up there? Yes. See, it's got very big pinches at the front, mm. and its tail is very skinny. Mm. That means it's not very poisonous, but it can pinch you quite hard. Mm. But if it's got a very fat tail and very small pincers, then you better keep away from it, because it's got very dangerous poison. Over here, we've got some special insects. What are those? Roaches. <laughs> yes, they're special cockroaches. These are Madagascan hissing cockroaches. They come from Madagascar. Do you know where Madagascar is? Yes. It's an island. Yes, it is. It's a country. It's part of Africa. We're going to have a look at one of these cockroaches. I'm going to pick one up here, and I'm going to put it in my hand, and you can have a look at it. And do you want to feel it? Yes. Just be careful that he doesn't jump. I never knew roaches could jump. Yes, they can jump. They're very agile, which means they can move very well. All insects have what they call an exoskeleton. I know what an exoskeleton is. It's a skeleton outside its body. Yes, that's right. These are special insects called mealworms. And these are special worms that are food for lots of other animals. That, 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 that's the worm that was in my apple. Yes, these are the same worms. These are the worms that you've seen Kelly eating on the farm. They're a very good source of protein. So, what we're going to do is we're going to feed some moles over here. Oh, yes, look, that one's eating it already. That's Ooh. like a sausage. <laughs> Before I transport you back to the farm, I hope you now have more respect for Nunus. Remember, they're not only a source of food for other creatures, including yourselves, they also make food. Think of the hard-working little bee and the delicious honey it makes. And you must admire the tough little beetles, some of whom can even withstand the weight of a car. 
and I'm sure you've heard about the dung beetle, who works so hard recycling rhino dung into a large round ball in which to lay eggs. Look how strong they are pushing away their precious dung balls, which are so much bigger than themselves. They don't give up until they've finished. We can learn so much from them. Now who's a Nunu? Yeah. You flatter me. Now that you know how clever Nunus are, I'm very happy to be called a Nunu. Take us to another magic place, Wally, please. Next time, there's always a next time with Wally, you can be sure. Bye, kids. See you soon. Hmm, for them out of the way, I can just have a look and see what we have in here. Hmm, that looks nice.